Hey, what's up, folks? This is Nergal from Behemoth. I'm in Amoeba in LA, and this is what's in my bag. Enjoy it. You got three peaks. This is amazing. I mean, like, it's Mark Lanigan, 5LP box set. I got one of these records, Whiskey for a Holy Ghost, but I just think it's right to buy stuff, to support it. I'm happy when people buy my records, you know, so I think it's like a, it's a karma going, you know. Always spend time and money in places like that. That's probably my fav favorite record store ever, and I've been to quite a few. Here's what I do. I'll take care of you. Blues Funeral was actually the first record that I heard from him and I wasn't even aware that he was uh, playing in this band Screaming Trees and then he was part of Queens of the Stone Age, if I'm correct, and so on and so on. I just fell in love with his music, very bluesy and then yet very updated, so it sounds very fresh and that's what modern blues should sound like. It'll take a hard rain to wash your taste It just opened like new like doors for me, I'd say. I got this other band, which is called Me and That Man, and we play like bluesy country, folky stuff that in a way, I think like Marlon Lanigan is one of the main inspirations for us. On one hand, it's like Muddy Waters and Howling Wolf and Johnny Cash. And then, you know, the you know, new guys in business like himself and Hank Williams III. And, and you know, it's not metal, you know, but it's, it's I, I love the drive and love the groove of, of this kind of genre. And um, I just want to do something in that direction and just challenge myself and do something that's going to be redefining for myself as, a, as an artist and musician. This is The Rare Cult. It's like a seven CDs box collection from The Cult. It's like a rare stuff with, a, with this thick booklet full of like stories and photos. It's really amazing. I got it from a friend like years, years, like 15 years ago, then someone, if you're watching this, you fucker, you know that you stole it, you know, someone borrowed it from me and, you know, people never give them back, never return them. So um, I saw it today, I was like, okay, I need to have it in my collection. One of the very first bands that was non-metal band it was pure rock and roll that I got into. I've been a fan for, I don't know, like two decades now. Anyways, even the new stuff they do is cool, I dig it. Beyond Good and Evil, I think it's a very underrated record. It's one of the recent records with Matt Sorum on drums. I think it's truly amazing. I wish they would play more live songs, you know, of that album. I just love this band. I don't know, just someone told me it's awesome. It's called Baby Metal. No, I'm fucking with you, I'm not buying that shit. If you like it, that's, that's, that's your problem. <laughs> nice, happy with it? My church is black, my Christ is cold. My cross is pale, all hope is gone. 